morning. <clears throat> this is Josh Mast, Mast Gun Works in Converse, Indiana. Um, I had a issue with my lathe. It's a Grizzly G0709. It's a 14 by 40 gunsmithing lathe. Um, I wanted to take a minute <clears throat> and video what I found, share it with you guys. There's not a lot of um, troubleshooting videos out there about these, which I guess is good because they don't seem to have a lot of problems. Um, from what I understand, this is actually the second generation of this lathe, and if I'm mistaken on that, please correct me. It, it may be the third, but I believe it's the second. Um, and it, Grizzly, they have a reputation because some of their stuff is from China. Um, but from what I've read and what I've experienced, I've actually found these lathes to be a pretty decent quality product. So, um, the issue that I experienced, <clears throat> I was, uh, I got a new multi-fix tool post and I was trying to cut a chamfer on this piece of metal and I wanted to run the headstock in reverse because I wanted to see you know what my capabilities were with this tool post. Well, when I did that, I heard a chattering noise and then my lead screw and the um, drive shaft that run the power feed for the uh, X and Z axis just stopped. <laughs> so um, that was troubling. Um, I've, I've done a lot of refurbishments on South Bend lathes. Uh, I haven't really dove into this one too much, and frankly, it intimidates me a little bit. Um, but I decided to come out, just take a quick look, do an evaluation, see what I can find. And it turns out it's a pretty easy fix. So I'm going to show you what I found, and um, we'll go from there. So pull you over here. You have to forgive me. I'm filming on my own. So here is the drivetrain on the back of the lathe and I have already fixed this and tested it to make sure that it was the issue and then I removed uh, the trouble gear again and staged it close to the way I found it just so you can see. So these gears drive the spindle or I'm, I'm sorry I got that backwards. The motor drives the spindle the spindle transfers power to the quick change gear gearbox through this gear reduction. And that's how you're able to have a uh, power feed for your um, saddle to move your cutting tool, you know, in, out, back, forth. Um, and then it also runs the lead screw, depending on how your gears are set when you're threading. So. For me, this is of the utmost importance because the majority of the work that I do on a lathe is barrel threading. I have to be able to thread. <laughs> so um, these gears are connected to this, this uh, bar here. I think it's called a banjo on a South Bend. So correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but they're connected by a T-nut, okay? in the viewfinder thread it in there okay so I ran it in reverse and I didn't have that one torqued down tight enough I guess and the torque generated by the lathe just unscrewed it and tossed it off in the side of the gear cover and the chattering that I was hearing was these teeth chattering against this and I've examined this gear there's no noticeable damage to it. I put everything back together. It works great. So um, it's going to be a little awkward for me to uh, reassemble this while holding the camera. So I'm going to make this video without showing you how to do the reassembly, but it's pretty simple. So you take said gear, you mesh it back in to the gear train, and then I'm going to come around the back here. <coughs> This T-nut slips into this gap and this bolt threads into this T-nut and holds it in place, okay? 
So in a nutshell, that was my issue. Um, if you guys have one of these lathes and they're out of warranty, uh, which is probably the case because the warranty is only good for a year, but forgive me, safety violation. <laughs> um, if you have one of these lathes and you have an issue, don't be afraid to call Grizzly. Um, their direct number off their website has uh, another telephone number in the initial message that you can call for technical support, okay? And if it's not something that tech support can help you with, they have different uh, machine repair places around the United States that they work with. And if it's something that is a catastrophic failure, it's not under warranty and you have to get it fixed, they'll help you find a place to go send it to so you can get it fixed. Um, first, this is the first experience that I've had with Grizzly's customer service. And thus far, I have found them to be very helpful and very polite. And, you know, thumbs up to Grizzly. So, um, I hope this was a helpful video. Um, if it was, please give it a thumbs up. I'm new to YouTube. And apparently that's um, something that helps you out when you get thumbs up. So, Leave a comment. If you have questions, you can reach me at my email. It's mastgunworks at gmail.com. M-A-S-T-G-U-N-W-O-R-K-S. Um, and I'll quickly show you the multi-fix. <clears throat> so there's the multi-fix. It is an original. I'm trying to get... There we go. You can see Type B made in Switzerland. It's a big honking tool post. Uh, I got this off of Craigslist from a company called Stegman Tool. They were cleaning out their stuff. I'd like to give a big thank you to uh, Robert Begany. He sold this to me, really hooked me up. Um, I've been pretty happy with it so far. Um, it weighs, good grief, three times what my Allura style weighed. Uh, it's really rigid and I'm really looking forward to using it so till next time you guys have a good one and i'll talk to you later